Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of January 15th, 2020. Well, today we get to find out about what's in Biden's stimulus proposal. I think you'll be interested in this because I'm not going to do my usual news. I'm just going to hop into what Biden wants in his stimulus package, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please subscribe and hit that like button and let me know, okay? Because today, like I said, it's uh, not today, but yesterday, Biden released a stimulus proposal, and trust me, it's a big one. It's called America's R R Rescue Plan, and it is totaled out at $1.9 trillion. It has $1,400 $1, per person checks to households across America, providing direct housing and nutrition assistance, expanding access to safe, reliable child care and affordable health care, increasing the minimum wage, extends unemployment, and leaving families with kids, uh, families with kids and childless workers in an emergency boost this year. Support for um, the hardest hit small businesses, small businesses, protecting jobs for their first responders, transit workers, and other essential workers. But even with Democrats controlling the Senate, that's right, right now we control this, well, we'll control the Senate once the um, Georgia election, the, the Georgia can get certified, and the two uh, Senate senators get put in their place as a Democrat. But even with the, with, even with that, the current amount of Democrats in the Senate, there's 50-50. Well, as we already know, Joe Manchin is basically already opposed to a additional stimulus package, sorry, stimulus check going out to the people because he believes that it's going out to the wrong people. So that takes our total count of Democrats down to 49, which means we need a House vote of 60 to pass this bill for, for Biden, which means we need 11 additional Republicans, which is not a good deal. But... Hopefully, we already know that he's going to be basically negotiated down on several components of his uh of his stimulus package, and basically he has at least one trillion of this is going out to the people. That's right, you have me. One trillion of this one point nine trillion dollar package is going out to the people, and let me figure out what I mean by that. Um, here's what he wants for the people. He wants a two thousand dollar stimulus check. But since most have already received their first stimulus check of $600 from December, you only get a $1,400 additional stimulus check. Unemployment benefits will be increased from $300 to $400 per week and extended till September of 2021. So basically people will be able to get an additional $400 supercharged unemployment until September 2021. He wants to put into place automatic boosters. I haven't, I haven't got those boosters out, those boosters out yet, but I, when I find out what they are, I'll let you know. An extension to eviction and foreclosure moratoriums until September 30th, 2021. So he wants to help out the renters and the people that have the mortgages. Provide renters and small landlords with $30 billion in rental and critical emergency and water assistance. But that basically breaks down to $25 billion, already on top of the $25 billion that's in this current package, going into renter's assistance and, and landlord help, and then $5 billion in water and energy assistance. He wants uh, $5 billion in energy to help out the energy assistance to help secure housing for people experiencing or at risk of homelessness. So he wants to put an end to homelessness at $5 billion. He wants to extend the 15% Supplemental Assistance Program, or SNAP, benefits and through September of 2021. He wants to invest $3 billion to help women, infants, and children, WIC in other words, get, food, they get the food they need. He also wants to raise the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour, and this includes the, basically, the um, servers and stuff like that there that are getting, like, three twenty five an hour plus tips. I hate, on this on this topic, I mean, on most people, yes, it'd be good to give them a $15 an hour minimum wage, but 
the servers actually make up for their loss of wage by the tips they get. Most states are actually pretty generous with, with tipping their servers. Utah is sort of iffy as far as that goes. So I, that should actually be amended to let the um, employer choose whether that's a good idea or not. But it seems that most, most restaurants, restaurants make a lot of money that they go out to pay for their food and the non-serving staff, I think giving the waitresses a boost in the raise is a good idea, but just not to $15 an hour. Give them maybe seven fifty an hour plus tips. This way, it compensates each other out. This way, they can make up to $15 an hour if they're a good waitress or more if they're even better waitress. This way, they're not getting, oh, well, I got stuck of tips, so I'm going to get $15 an hour no matter what. No, may, at least give them seven twenty five to seven fifty an hour plus tips so they know they still got to do their job. Uh, he also wants to give $130 billion to help schools to safely open. Now, isn't that nice of him? He actually wants to help out schools open safely with this COVID pandemic. You know what? I actually don't blame him. I've seen a lot of kids wandering around, like, with those those dumb looks on their face, like, what am I going to do? I have no school, and my, my parents aren't at work, or something like that, and they're just going around, you know, sort of clueless. But on other topics, um... As far as more, as far as, so I can't speak right now, <laughs> is when more information becomes available to you guys, to me, I will make sure that I relay this information to you so you can actually hear it. And if there's any video clips I can throw in, I will as well, so you can hear it firsthand from the person saying it. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful Friday evening. I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. Please stay safe. And remember, we're all in this together because right now we still got to miss Congress and they don't know what they're doing yet. But I know what I'm doing and my job is to give you information you guys need to hopefully help you survive through this crisis. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening and I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>